All right, what's up, y'all? New video. That'll be a whole different video. So if you're following it, you know what's going on. If you're not, watch the other video. But today we're painting this dashboard. So this is going to be the fun part for the day. So all of this is getting redone. See, I already took this out. Well, took this out. Repainted everything, gloss black. So I'm going black on black, everything for the inside. So the doors are getting done. Uh, I'm just waiting on that paint to dry on the fiberglass before I can actually paint that little small wood piece. But the dashboard is coming out, so it's simple. All you got to do is pop this piece out. You know, it's just pulls out, just prop from right here, pop it out. So you got a screw here, a uh, seven millimeter here. You got two seven millimeters there, and then it's another one on that side. So, same deal, you pop this out, you got another seven millimeter here. So once you take those four screws out, it should just pop right out. So let me go ahead and get these screws loose real quick. So just like that, we out. And it was just that one plug on the back that uh that I'll show you. But this one plug, this was the only thing holding the dash in outside of the pull tabs. And you might have saw me struggle a little bit. This the this part. This middle piece sticks out kind of far. So that's that's what was hanging up back here, slowing the process down, getting it out. But just bend it a little bit, it should be all right. And uh, yeah. So we got that out and it's time to scuff everything up and paint it. Oh yeah, and it's best to take this off. Uh, you can see the, the little holes in there. It was like plastic welded in. So what I did when I first painted it, I just poked those grind, grinded them down and poked it out and then Take this out and you can always put a little piece of a small piece of 3m or maybe some kind of super glue behind it to hold it in place after you paint it but it's another story for another time but let's go ahead and uh get this painted all right so step one is to get a nice clean towel some alcohol and just clean all of this off because it's been painted for three years in the car for three years it's been it's a daily driver so it's a lot a lot of just random dust and dirt that's on here and I don't wipe this dash down as much as I probably should so I'm sure it's dirty got some grime on here so let's clean this off with a little bit of alcohol and uh we'll get ready to wet sand it with this 400 grit and since this was smooth already you really don't need much sanding like like if you haven't painted it before and it's just a wood grain it's real smooth so all you gotta do is make sure it's clean and not greasy or anything and if you want, you can wet sand it with some 400 or even a thousand, really. Just something, something to get, make sure it's clean and all of that. This part can be sanded a little bit from the factory because it's this isn't the wood grain part, so this the texture is different. So you can sand this a little bit if you want. Like I say, either wet sand it with some 400 or really wet sanding it with 400 is good enough. And I don't think I did any 320 or 350 or anything like that. So wet sand this with some 400 clean all of this wet sand if you want with these and then uh prime it and spray it so let me go ahead and clean this off all right y'all 
I'm back. Tape is done. Well, tape is off, so. Still got to clean all this off, dust everything off. But next up is going to be painting this gloss black. I got to clean this off because it's the one I got from the junkyard. So it's still dirty, but got to clean that off. Same deal with this one. Wipe everything down, alcohol, wet sand. Clean this, and then I can paint this gloss black to match the dashboard that I'm about to paint because I hadn't painted it yet. So I'm going to go ahead and get this compressor and spray this off, and then I can wipe it down and get going. Yeah. Alright, so vents taped off, up and down knobs taped off. I'm not gonna worry about the the cross ones because I could have left the other ones. The gloss black could really look good on either one of them. We got it cleaned off. Everything is uh clean, dry, ready for paint. So go ahead and spray that. Alright, so this is about three coats. See, it's good and glossy. Just let this dry, and then it's gonna be ready to go. All right, dash is done. Time to paint this little piece. You can't. You can take it off, but it's like little plastic rivets on the back end. Let me go grab the other one so I can show you. But that's the. Uh, yeah. So. So this piece, I still got to tape this one off, but the reason you tape it off is because, as you can see, all of these little plastic, melted plastic rivets or whatever, so you can't take it off unless you pop all of those off and, you know, it's just a bunch of extra work, so and then you got to deal with trying to reattach it. So instead of doing all of that, you tape it off, mask everything around it. Then you can just spray it. So should be pretty straightforward and simple. Same paint. This is Duplicolor Engine Enamel actually. And it's a little bit thicker than uh like what I used when I did the white. They had the duplicolor, the touch up cans and the engine enamel is just a lot thicker paint compared to that. So it's a lot thicker, lasts a little bit longer and uh it's got a real good shine to it, so you really don't even need a clear coat just you know, because of how how shiny the paint is once it's on there. So I'm going to go ahead and tape this up, put some plastic around it, and then I'll be ready to spray these, and I'll be done with that trim. Time to let it dry a little bit more. I'm gonna go ahead and put a drop of super glue like right in the middle of there. That'll uh, press that emblem on and then the little tabs on the back of the emblem they'll go through this hole. So I'll do the same on the back end, put a little a little drop of super glue to hold it in there. And then I'll be done and ready to put this stuff back in the car. And uh you had to see the other videos from when I finished this too. So once it's back in the car, that'll be done. But it's a different story for a different video. So I'll put a link to that uh, the fiberglass step-by-step -step process if you want to catch up on that. But as far as painting the trim, we're good on that. So it's just time to put everything back together. All right. So got this piece. Got some little Gorilla Glue. And if you can see, it's got a tab here, tab here, and one right there. So what I'm going to do, line these up. And I'm just going to put a drop of glue for each tab that I do have. So put a drop right here, a uh, drop right there, and a drop right here. That way, it'll stick right where I... 
by where I wanted to stick. Alright, so. Drop right there. And just keep it in the groove so it won't uh, get on any other paint. Drop right there. And one right here. Now I can just flip this over, drop it in, press it down, so now that's in place. Alright, so here's the finished product. Everything is painted gloss black. The Impala sign, I put that back on, you saw. So the glue is holding that like this factory, but... Everything is gloss black, even the piece around the radio. I kept this the same. I had this flat black from before just because everybody always paint the dash and they paint that piece and they paint all of this. And, you know, it's decent for everybody else, but I didn't, I just wanted it to flow a little better for me. So I always kept that piece flat black so it kind of just flow and look like all of that's separate from this. And the same with the little door pulls and all of that. So. I kept all of that to match the actual interior and not worry about trying to color match it. So now it's all black. Everything is done. Put back in last night. And uh, yeah, if you hadn't watched the video for these doors, you know, it's a whole nother story. But you can check that video out too. I'll put it at the end of this one. And uh, yeah, so I hope that helps you out if, you, uh, if you've been looking at it, trying to figure out the process or whatever for painting this trim. But that's it for this video.